Uh, Mora, uh, we talked about it yesterday. You said it. You didn't come down there just just for a split. You guys wanted to sweep. How good did it feel to to see your team put together two really really strong games here? Awesome, awesome. Exactly what we were looking for. Uh, that was the purpose of this trip. We've been talking about how important our non-conference matchups are, and this one just coming after the Christmas break on New Year's. It's um, it's just an interesting time to play massive games and. Uh, Clearly, we got the job done and uh, couldn't be happier. What stood out the, the most about about closing out a, a sweep like this? You guys fall down one one nothing there, um, and then you just stormed stormed back, and, and Harvard cuts it close late. Good resiliency, you think, there by your team today? Absolutely, and I would uh, credit our first line with showing up huge this weekend. Um, obviously, all over the score sheet, but the work ethic behind it, I think, is what you know what sends that message to the rest of our team. You know, this is what we expect. This is how, this is how hard you have to play, especially against top 10 teams. I thought Harvard's, uh, Harvard's game plan was better today and they really brought it and it was a, a really hard fought hockey game. So really proud of the way that we stuck with it. I feel like we were chasing the game a little bit from the get-go, obviously falling behind, um, had to get through some tough stuff, but uh, to come away with the win is, is everything. And um, I hope, you know, the belief in our locker room is really high right now. Uh, did you notice Jiggy had an extra step at all in her uh, mm -hmm. going into the, this series? 16 career points in eight games against Harvard. Um, that's wow. ridiculous. <laughs> it's funny. I was just walking down the hallway with uh, Coach Bellamy and I said, Jiggy had a great game again today. And uh, it's just it's awesome to see. And I don't know if it was a former ECAC foe or, or just, you know, coming off a little break after Christmas, but uh, certainly like the way she played this whole weekend. The two goals that, that Gabby scored out there, the, the hard slapper muscling to the, to the net um, four goals for her this weekend. Um, how good is she looking coming off this break and, and going yeah. into the, the second half here now? Yeah. Outstanding. Um, she's just uh, an absolute beast. And um we, we've been lucky, those of us like you, Matt, who have been around for years, you've seen this type of Gabby Hughes uh, performance in the past, and it's uh, certainly coming at the right time, and she's been putting together a great season. I'd assume she's still leave, leading the country in points per game, and it's, it's fun for us, I think, to bring uh, our team out east to showcase the talent that we have because – uh, not everybody gets to see Minnesota Duluth out east, and I hope uh, I hope people can appreciate some of the games that people put together this weekend. Gabby, notably, and uh, Jiggy and Kleiner, I thought were tremendous. Like I said, all weekend long. You had talked about the past few weeks about being able to play two complete games to be able to start off 20, 2022 like this, go on the road, get a top ten sweep, non conference. How does this just set the tone for the second half? It's awesome. It's, uh, you know, everything that, that we expect and, and what they deserve, you know, our, our group works extremely hard. We have high standards and, um, you know, for them to get rewarded, uh, with two big wins is, is awesome and well-deserved. And, uh, now we go, you know, the schedule doesn't get much easier. Uh, we're back to WCHA, uh, opponents on the road next weekend. And, um, it's, it's a great way to start. And now we just got to keep elevating. Mara, can you call this a statement kind of sweep for, for your program? Kind of, you know, you mentioned getting the exposure for Jiggy, Kleiner, and, and Hughes, that top line, you know, nationally playing this on ESPN Plus, and then also just, just for your, your team as a, a whole of where you stand nationally. Yeah, great point. And uh, certainly, I think uh, we should turn heads and I'm sure these wins help us climb in the RPI and, you know, we want to be in that NCAA tournament. We want to be winning a national championship at the end of this season. So um, I think we, we proved that we deserve to be in that conversation. We've had marquee wins all along this season, but uh, to put two back to back on the road like this against a good Harvard team um, is really, is really uh, awesome. When do you guys fly home? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yep. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on wood. Yeah, we've had some some uh, adjustments that we've had to make due to different things with flight plans, but we'll we'll be getting home tomorrow. <laughs>